I'm back again. Oh, and I can hear myself. <laughs> That's just the worst, I swear. All right. Well, welcome back. Hello, Elizabeth and Kayleen. Good morning. We drew the lucky order number. So congratulations to lucky order number 10791. You will receive a Natalie May scrapbooking stamp in your order. I'll just be a moment. Hang on. Sorry about that. I just thought I had better blow my nose off camera. And I still didn't take an antihistamine. Alrighty. So today is the... Good morning, Brayden. Today is the last day of the Great International Craft Show number 12. And we are going to... I'm going to create an art journal page here today, something nice and bright. Um, before I start, congratulations to Taryn. You have won a, um, a Natalie May scrapbooking stamp because you placed an order yesterday. Um, anybody who places an order today will go in the drawer to win a Natalie May scrapbooking stamp to go in with their order as a little bit of love from me to you. So uh, jump on board with nataliemay.com.au and place an order. Also, look for the Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community, the little private group on Facebook. Once a month, I send out a $25 gift voucher to one lucky customer, and we, uh, yeah, we, yeah, run a little competition each month, is what I'm trying to say. Um, all right, so it's Scrap Effects Day. And what that means is we have got 15% off of Scrap Effects products, chipboard, and Lindy's Game products today. So I thought I would create a quick and easy art journal page. I say quick and easy, it has to take me an hour. That's the go. Using some of these really um, lovely things from Scrap Effects, Australian company. And I want to use these birds. These birds are gorgeous. And I want to show you how to use the foam stamps. And I want to cut these out. I want to use some collage paper. And I want to use some quotes. So that is the plan. Uh, the colours that I'm going to go with. So because I've got these out and this is my colour scheme. This is what I want to go with. Uh, I'm going to start with adding some collage paper to my project. So this collage paper is called Writings Collage Paper. And it is a lovely thin collage paper and it's like a kind of like a rice paper. And I'm going to use gel medium to, um, to stick it on my page. And I'm going to tear off some bits like so. It tears just beautifully. And I'm going to add it to my page. So collage paper is lovely and thin, which means that it will become almost transparent on the page. So I am going to pop some strips of it down here and I will be painting over the top and I'm going to be using my catalyst tool just to seal it to make sure it doesn't lift up. I don't want to be using a paintbrush because a paintbrush is going to add way too much gel medium to my page and it's going to take too long to dry and I don't have that sort of time and I want my art journaling to be a quick and easy process I don't want it to be you know to take forever and trust me you don't want to watch me doing this forever because I talk too much And I swear too much. But it's Sunday morning. We're not swearing just yet. It's 
bit early for that. So I have got three live Facebooks planned for today, this one, uh, and then I have another one planned for, oh, I think it's 1.30, and I'm gonna have a play with some Lindy's products at 1.30 today. So there's going to be, um, it's gonna be a really lovely, lovely day of playing with color. And then I'm gonna do a scrapbook layout this afternoon using chipboard and, whoops, a bit rough there chipboard and Lindy's products. So uh, like I mentioned earlier this morning when I did the live as the Australian educator and ambassador for Lindy's, it's my job to show you how to use this fantastic product. So if you wanna know all about Lindy's products, come back this afternoon and I am your girl. Just tearing these off a bit. So my art journal page, I'm using the Large Dilutions art journal and I have just given it a really loose coverage of gesso to seal the page. Of course, gesso is a sealant, so it's going to uh, make sure that my page is no longer absorbent. All right, so that has been added on there. All right, let's get some baby wipes handy. <laughs> so just reading through the comments, there we go. All right, so what? That's, that's kind of laying down a bit of a base. Um, it's almost completely dry, which is really good. Now I'm going to add some acrylic paint. So the colors of the paint that I wanna use, I wanna pull some of the colors out of here and I want my birds to be lifting. I want them to be standing out on the page. So I thought I might go with red and pink and maybe a little bit of orange as well. So the colors that I have in front of me here, are, I've got some Dilutions paints and I have the Art by Marlene paints that I have been using all weekend because all my tables set up here nicely. So I'm just gonna keep using what I've got. So this color is called Fiery Sunset. The Dina Wakeley color called Sedona. It's more of an orange based red. I am using the Dina Wakeley Ruby. I am using Cherry Pie, which is a bit more of a pink based Red. Um, I did get fuchsia out, but I don't really want to add purple in there. Um, I have got ho, 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 ho. I've got all the reds out. <laughs> That's Louise giggling from the other room. Good morning, Pina. So hands up if you're laying in bed still watching my live Facebooks. Hands up if you wish you were still laying in bed watching me. I had some motivational issues this morning. I got up at 4.30, changed all the, made all the changes that I needed to on the website, made that little magic happen and then went back to sleep. And I really went back to sleep. Crash. What you got there? Yeah. Um, Louise is just picking orders at the moment and that colour's called ballet. And um, we just want to take a moment. Hey Louise, would you push the paint trolley over to me please? Sure. Thanks babe. Um, we just want to take a moment to say thank you very much to all of you who are adding the $8 donation to, thank you, ovarian cancer to your carts. Um, I don't know how much money we've raised so far this weekend, but I can tell you right now, your $8 is going direct to the Ovarian Cancer Foundation of Australia. Um, I am super grateful, and because you have placed an order and made that donation, um, where possible, we are going to just throw in either a little ribbon or something just as a little thank you for, oops, that's not the color that I wanted. 
uh, as a little thank you. So we're super grateful for that. So uh, thanks guys. All right, so as you can see, I'm getting out all of the colors here that I want to be using. Uh, and I'm going to be kind of working with all of these beautiful warm colors. I'm going to have a paintbrush handy, some paper towel handy, and I'm just gonna do some across the page, pink down into red, okay? So I'm just gonna, I'll start with this light color here that I didn't mean to put on and start laying down a base. Um, like so. And then start mixing some colors together. So I'm just gonna keep my strokes nice and horizontal, all going the same way. And layering up some colour. So very similar technique here to what I did in yesterday afternoon's live Facebook where I did a real painty page using uh, Art by Marlene bits and pieces. So yes, yeah, so for those of you who don't know, I had a um, a little hiccup with, a little hiccup. I had a fairly generous size hiccup uh, a little while ago, um, 2013 with ovarian cancer. Uh, and I am super grateful to be here today to be able to talk to you about it. So. Um, ovarian cancer and the charity is something very close to my heart and you can go and have a look on my blog which is called Happy Dax um, and I will do a link a little bit later um, but I will yeah you can read my story I actually kept a, a daily update on my blog every day I or every day every every week I did a little update about where I was with my ovarian cancer journey and shared it around for everybody to read. Um, you know what I'm like, full transparency. There's no secrets here, guys. Uh, <laughs> so yes, I did tell my story through, my, through words on my, and photos actually. There's a few photos on there as well. Actually, there's a lot of photos on there. So if you want to go through and have a bit of a look, um, if you scroll back down through my Facebook page, there's actually a link I did only a couple of days ago about that. Okay. Rightio, so I've got the first coat down and as you can see, I've missed a few bits. So I'm just going to add a few little bits of layers over the top now to add a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna keep the colors sort of the same. I'm mixing things up a bit. I've got warm colors going over the top of warm colors, okay? And this technique is not difficult. So yesterday when we did it on uh, with the Art by Marlene page, we worked in a circle. Today we are moving horizontal across our page. Don't know that that was the right colour to put there, but you know what, let's commit to it. So again, and uh, I just wanna say thank you that your $8 is going to make a difference. And that's super important, so thank you very much. I make a personal donation every year to the Ovarian Cancer Foundation. I make a business donation each year as well. And this is where you come into, your donation comes into it because I can increase my donation to Ovarian Cancer now, um, thanks to you guys. Um, I think in the past, between Australia and New Zealand, I do know that there is a lovely bunch of ladies in New Zealand who have also raised a lot of money in the past. Um, and thank you very much, you know who you are. So um, yeah, I think I've probably raised just me alone, 
through fundraising um, events, maybe close to 20 grand easily, I reckon. That sounds about, I haven't kept track of it. I should have kept track of it, but I haven't. All right. So this technique here that I am doing works because of the colours that I am putting together. So as you can see, the colours that I'm putting together are all of the same colour family. So therefore I'm able to layer them over the top and they don't and they don't go muddy. And that is what we want. We want it to look nice. And I just ripped the corner off there, which I didn't mean to do. So I can go back in here with a bit of red. Hmm, I like it. And I'm just going to pop a bit more orange over the top here and a bit more red. That ho 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 red is just gorgeous. Beautiful colour. So yes, your um, thank you very much. That's as much as I'm going to bang on about it for today. Your Donation to ovarian cancer has uh, is going to a good cause. Now I'm just going to turn my light down so that you can see it without any glare. It does. It has changed it up a bit, but you can see that that gradient. All right, so you can see how that all works. We've got pink into purple into oranges into red. All right. Brush in water and I'm just going to let that sit and dry. I'm going to pop it aside and now just cut out some of these birds because I haven't done that yet. Uh, scissors would be good. So these fantastic patchwork birds from Scrap Effects are super inexpensive. I want to use a couple on my page. I want the flying birds because I haven't worked out what they're going to be perched on yet. So I need to cut them out. And they are on a really nice heavy weight card. And I'm going to leave them with a little bit of a white border. Uh, I should have, yes, cut these out off camera because you really don't need to see me cutting out. Um, thank you. Um, thank you, Pina. Pina's just commented saying, well done, Nat, on the, on the fundraising. That's fantastic. Pina has, um, does party light candles here in Adelaide, uh, and she has made numerous donations. So I actually think that um, this coming Friday night here in Adelaide, we might, uh, we might take some of the candles that I've got here that Pina has donated and do a, a lucky order on Friday night as well. If anyone decides to place an order after a couple of cheeky glasses of wine, then they might go in the drawer to win one of the candles that Pina has donated that I have sitting here that I have been meaning to, to do something with. So thank you very much for that, Pina. And I hope to see you on Friday night if you're going to pop down and have a glass of wine and... Um, and some festive foods here in the uh, at, at the Natalie May Scrapbooking headquarters. That would be wonderful. Um, of course, I would be expecting to see you and Del here. I do remember last year, Pina, you showed up after your work Christmas drinks. Um, last year's, of course, was at home, and that went very late into the night with many a festive beverage happening, um, which was wonderful. We had an absolute ball. So as we are very, very much a family business, um, with of course Louise being my sister, my daughter Jessica works alongside us and um, when she can, and my husband Trevor, which most of you know who Clever Trevor is, um, and we are, we are all here to keep you guys crafting up to your eyeballs. Radio. so I'm just gonna smash through these. I really wanna be a little bit more detailed, but I think it's gonna take too long if I do that. Um, 
So what have we got on special? So Scrap Effects is an Australian company. I've been a stockist of Scrap Effects products for quite some time and they have been in the business a really, for, for quite a while. They've been in Australia, in the paper crafting business in Australia for a while. Um, I remember many, many moons ago when I won the Scrapbooking Memories Masters, when the magazine used to be out, I was one of the winners. I received a prize pack full of Scrap Effects products back then. And I reckon that was, so that was before I got sick. So that would have been 2000 and I want to say seven, I reckon, something like that. So um, that was, that was fantastic. But Scrap Effects have been around for a really long time and they have certainly evolved and they are, they've brought on some fantastic designers as well. So some local, all Australian local creatives such as Michelle Logan, such as Neve Bailey, who of course is teaching at our retreat. I'm down a bird. One, two. Where are you? Oh, here we go. Um, so yeah, they are fantastic. So stamps and stencils. So they do foam stamps, which is what I'm going to use today. And the foam stamps are super easy to use, especially with paint and uh, distress oxides and ink pads. They are fabulous. I'm going to use them today with the Catherine Paula inks, I reckon, over the top of these paints. Um, and I'm wondering if Louise can read my mind about that. Thanks, babe. Um, and you're gonna, there you go. Um, so yeah, we're going to, um, yeah, they've been, the foam stamps are easy and they clean up beautifully and uh, I really, really love using the, the foam stamps. The stencils are great because you can do so many things with the stencils as well. Um, the silhouette cuts, excellent for card makers. Let's have a look at what I've got here. He's flying that way. He's flying that way. He's flying that way. I feel like I need a little something in the middle. Maybe this guy. I might go for this one. And I can cut them out and whether or not I, I use them, I don't know yet, but we'll wait and see. Uh, so yeah, the silhouettes are great because like I said, they go over the top of, um, they're, they're fantastic little die cut elements ready to go in black or white. And you can add them over the top of your paint or your Lindy's or your alcohol inks as quick and easy little cutouts and really, really versatile. So um, they're a real multi product and that's really important. Now, something else that Scrap Effects do that I haven't mentioned this show is the, and I haven't pulled out, are the junk journals. Junk journals are easy to make, lots and lots of fun, but it's even better if somebody else has done all the hard work and made it for you. That's my theory anyway. And of course, all the junk journals are 15% off today as well. Uh, chipboard is the other thing that they do. So great designs in chipboard. And we have a great range of their chipboard here, suitable to everyone. Uh, if you haven't seen, their latest Alice in Wonderland collection is very, very cool. Okay, so they have jumped in and gone, right, everybody loves Alice. Let's design some Alice projects. There are some wonderful book pages in the collage elements as well. Um, <laughs> and she and... Um, they are really easy to use on your project. So I did yesterday in my stencil talk, in my second live book, Facebook I did yesterday, um, we did 14 or 16 plus ways with stencils. So I'm just gonna fix up these little claws because they are a little fiddly. In the meantime, my acrylic paint page is drying. And I will need to heat it with the heat gun because I think I was a little heavy handed with the paintbrush this morning. I was going to use this beautiful new pink printed rice paper, but I've decided not to. Um, I'll show you what it looks like in a minute because I'm just loving the paint in the background of this project.
Okay, here we go. So here's my, my page. I'm just gonna run the heat gun over it just because it's still a little tacky in a few spots. Um, and then I'm gonna add some stamping to it. I might even add a little bit more of the book paper, that, that collage paper in a few little strips over the top as well. So here we go. Good morning, Susan. Happy Sunday to you too. All right, so here is the plan. I have got birds, 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 birds. Where's this little guy? Birds. So when, you, when you're doing something like this, you need to look at the way that the birds are sitting. Um, like I said, this is the one that I was gonna include before. This has got this gorgeous design on it, hearts and roses really nice but I'm, I'm, give, I'm going to give that one a miss uh, but I will be adding in some stamping and some more collaging in a moment so I didn't use all of that collage paper I did leave some off so I'm just going to cut some strips to add a little bit of lightness to my page tear some strips and I also this need this bird to be sitting on something these birds are flying which is fine but this guy's not, so he needs to be anchored. He needs to be sitting on top of something. And that is why I needed to leave a few of these pieces for that. All right, so I need to stick those on now. Uh, I'm going to crack out the gel medium again. <sighs> Where is my palette Nora? So I'm just going to swipe it on like this. And then with my finger, I'm just gonna massage that gel medium into the paper so that I know that it's all stuck down. I'm gonna add some stamping over the top of that as well, but not just yet. I'm gonna wait for it to dry to do that. So polishing off any excess gel medium is a little technique that I actually learned from Mr. Tim Holtz when I did a class with him in Arizona a little while ago. Um, Alison Bevis, the lovely Alison Bevis from Craft Avenue Wholesalers. Um, Alison and I kind of snuck into a Tim Holtz class in Phoenix. Um, it, it started off as a little bit of a sneak in and then the only seat was available, two seats were left in it and I s tried to get up the back as the two seats. So there was one seat at the back and one seat in the front row. Um, I sat in the front row. Um, Alison got to the back seat before I could, so um, there wasn't any sneaking when the only two seats that were available to sit in was in the front row and the back row. So that was pretty funny. Um, but creating and learning from Mr. Tim himself was pretty awesome, actually. He, he's a, a, a fantastic teacher. Uh, explains things very very well and has sent set the benchmark very very high for the rest of us educatory people so um, feeling oh Alison is here hello Alison you do remember that then we did sneak into that class standing there looking through the window of the door and uh, yeah kind of found ourselves seated in there which was pretty awesome um all right so here we go i have now added those bits on there's a little bit of shiny around here and that is where the gel medium um, is sitting on top of the paint so i'm just going to polish it really lightly off with my uh, baby wipe and then i'm going to add a little bit of paint just to take the shiny out of it i just don't want it to be sticky 
and I don't want it to be um, have a different sort of finish on it so I'm just using some of this paint to do a really light feathery sort of brush over the top as you can see I'm you know kissing the paper for lack of a better term just to do that and I'm going to do the same on this side here just to make sure that there's no additional sticky on here that I don't need um, oh thanks Tina you can come back anytime babe so nice things like that what other awesome things have I done who else have I taught you that's really awesome? You all know that I've taught alongside Vicky, Vicky Booten. Um, I've taught alongside her in uh, New Zealand a couple of times. And um, I don't know if any of you know of, I'll do some name dropping, hey? Everyone loves a good story. Um, every, the, like, Paula Cheney. Paula Cheney is uh, Tim Holtz's off the page girl so the incredibly talented Paula used to work for seven gypsies remember when seven gypsies was around um, but and she also has worked alongside Tim so Paula and I have taught together at two or three events um, in New Zealand and she was the guest teacher and I was the guest teacher um, yes Dina Wakeley so a couple of years ago I had Dina Wakeley here in Adelaide. Dina came and taught here for us. Um, and she is one rock star of a woman. Um, very, very generous with her, her time as well. So, um, okay, pause. This is one of the Scrap Effects stamps. Comes like this. I could use it like this, but I'm actually going to cut it. So it is on a piece of acetate already. Now I have two stamps. And I'm just going to do this. Like so, like so. Just to take off any extra bits that I might accidentally get paint on or over stamp. Um, yeah, so Paula, Cheney, Dina Wakeley, Oh, Heidi Swap. Heidi's been out to Australia a couple of times. Um, Heidi has actually very generously sponsored quite a few of my classes over the years. Um, when I've been away guest teaching, she has offered sponsorship for my kits um, to supply product to my kits. So that was fantastic. All right, quick and easy stamp. Quick and easy stamp. So I want these to run across the bottom here. Um, who else is there? Ada Domasiewicz and Olga uh, Heldwin from Poland. Ada and Olga came over as part of 13 Arts for a tour, um, spent some quality time with us here. And Ada and I have taught together on a couple of occasions in New Zealand as well, which was really cool. Um, and... Who else? Oh, uh, Gary Van Gent from, where's Gary from? Let me put that in there. These are the Catherine Paula inks that I'm going to stamp with. These are the colours that I've got open, so I've swatched them. I want to kind of go here and here and here. Um, so yes, lots of very wonderful, awesome, famous people. I am. I just had a massive name dropping se <laughs> session, um, and that's okay. Name dropping's good. People love a good story. Right. These are the colours that I'm going to use. So, the Netherlands. Thank you. Gary is from the Netherlands. Um, and she is so lovely. Um, sent me a lovely little Christmas gift not all that long ago, actually, which was kind of nice. Okay, so I'm going to take these stamps and I'm going to use, I need a piece of scrap 
paper so that I don't get any bonus ink anywhere else. Um, and I'm going to go straight on here. I'm going to ink it up. Ink that baby up. Uh, who else have I taught with Alison? You know, you were my manager for all those all those years. Now I am going red over red, so I'm looking for a a semi sort of impression here, and it's kind of given me a really nice. Oh, I don't know that it's showing up on camera, but it's quite faint, but very nice. Oh yes. Um, I've also worked with, oh, Frank, 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 Frank Garcia. Um, are the Catherine Paula inks permanent? They are water-based, um, Tina. So I know when I did a live Facebook, not all that long ago, I don't know, last month, I did, um... I did watercolouring with them. So you can put them on your map and on your mat and dip your paintbrush into them. So this one is a is a pink. So I'm gonna heat set this in a minute. And it's just another shade going over the top. Because it's, it's stamping over stamping kind of makes it work really well. I don't want to put another colour over the top just yet, but I'm after some depth. And because they're foam stamps, um, <laughs> because they are foam stamps, they're super juicy. So they are going to hold that colour really, really nicely. Um, yes, Tina, I have taught very, numerous times alongside the super talented Fiona Paltridge from Australia. And Fiona and I did some workshops a little while ago in Queensland and we called them, does anyone remember what we called them? Super funny. I know that there were some of you there. Who's going to be the first person to type it in? Alison Bevis is, of course. I, Al, and Fiona and I did workshops called the FN Workshops. FN, of course, standing for Fiona and Natalie. Um, and we did a whole weekend of workshops creating that was a long time ago but very very fun um, Frank Garcia so Frank Garcia from Prima marketing he has his own line of products with Prima Frank I actually I worked with Frank and Vicky at the same time um, as the three of us were guest teachers in New Zealand which was cool. How am I going for time? 10 past. Awesome. Nearly there. So you can see how easy these foam, foam stamps work. Now, I, like I said, I am now doing... <sighs> yes, exactly right, Linda. You don't say that effing workshops too fast. That was the whole point of the name. Don't you love that? Radio. Now these clean up beautifully. I'll be washing this in the sink with some warm soapy water. So get these inks out of the way. Just taking any excess ink off. So on plain white paper, for example, you can see that they just stamp a treat. They look really, really good and they work really well. That <laughs> I just stamped that onto a piece of paper towel first, so it's got this lovely little indent in it. Um, radio. Let's get that one out of the way and let's heat set this. 
And then I'm going to need to add a few white elements for dimension and then the birds. I was going to add a little bit of black to it, but I don't think I will. Just drying off all of my stamping here. Now, it doesn't show up very well on camera, but it is definitely there and it's a lovely, subtle image in the background. And that is what I was looking for. Subtle like me. <laughs> Finnebar, Finnebar, that's another one that I've worked alongside and taught with her. Um, Finnebar, of course, is a Prima, an educator from Prima, and she has her own range of awesomeness. Um, I'm going to use my double dot stencil, and I'm going to have a baby wipe handy. And just over here on my mat, I'm going to do a, a splodge of white. I've got a dirty... Here we go, blending tool here somewhere. It's okay. Um, yeah, so Finnebar is the other one I've worked with. Hey, my nose is not growing at all, darling. It is the truth. No fairy tales here from me, babe. Um, That's what I'm after. I'm after a really light, probably a little bit heavy there actually with the with the wiping. Let's have another go there. Because white and black give dimension, so I need to have some sort of white, and I've got white elements in it already where the um, collage paper is and where the, on the edges of our birds, okay. March 2017, Alison, for the effing workshops. That doesn't seem that long ago. That was a great weekend. So much fun. So I could use white paint for this, but I've chosen to use gesso because it's what in front with what's in front of me. Um, and I'm not adding too much paint here. I'm wanting a real shadowed effect. So something that is a lot looser than Just given a little bit of dimension and I'll pop some down here. Um, who was the other one? Who was that lady with the long blonde hair from, from the Netherlands as well? She came to Adelaide and we had her come to seriously scrapbooking. Who was her? What was her name? I don't recall. Ing Ingville, Ingville, Ingvild, Ing, Ingvild, Ing, I don't know, uh, something like that, Ingvild Bot Bone. Alison, do you remember her? All right, I'm just grabbing a black pen and I want to do something here for my bird to sit on. She, he needs to be connected to something. So I'm just doing a little scribble. Now I could stamp some, some tricky sort of words along here, but it just needs a little connection to something. Uh, so I'm gonna start working on my border. So I'm just using the Micron pen and that will sit there. So keeping super simple here. How am I going for time? I haven't even added any stamping to this page. Goodness me. Who am I? Yeah, Prima, that's it. She came and did a whole heap of Prima workshops with us. Oh, look at my mem memory actually working. Big, big drawback of chemo. Kills off brain cells like, gosh, nothing else. And um, killed off a lot of my brain cells. Trina. Oh, Trina. Trina, Trina, Trina. You know what? Oh, you know, I have worked with Trina alongside her. Trina and I, I've stayed at Trina's house 
numerous times. Trina is my Trina McLoon is my uh, my favourite go to person in New Zealand. Oh, Nick Howard. Um, Nick Howard is another wonderful lady that I've worked with. Um, she no longer works in the industry, um, but she's very cool. Okay, I did do with the foams, thank you. I meant, I meant uh, also that I haven't used um, black stamping. Now, I'm just gonna use some of the fin uh, Art by Marlene sticky glue here. I could use gel medium, but what I like about this sticky glue is that it's got that fine tip that I can push up into the edges to make sure all my ends are stuck down, all my edges are stuck down. Right, little birdie, there you go, sticked. And this guy is standing on something and that's important. He has to be anchored and he has to be grounded. Um, yes, Trina is one of my fabulous fam favorite people and um, an somebody who has helped me out a lot in New Zealand. Um, the lovely Larissa Mutton, if you're watching. <laughs> Excuse me. There's my morning sneeze. Larissa chauffeured me around New Zealand for quite some time. Thank you, my love. Oh, Tina, go and give your sheep some love for me, babe. Enjoy your day out in the sun. Pop some, SB, pop some 50 plus on. Look after that skin and a hat. I'm assuming since it's beautiful here in Adelaide today, it'll be absolutely beautiful down where you are. All right, so this is gonna go there. I probably should could have put that one down there, to be honest, but I still can. Um, and then I'm going to add some words and a title, okay? Keeping it simple. So making my birds the feature, enjoying the process of art journaling, not overcomplicating it. It doesn't have to be this incredibly fabulous work of art, but it is something that I have enjoyed the process of doing. And that, my friends, is what art journaling is all about. Squish, squish, squish. Black pen. So I'm just going to add a little bit of doodling in and around my birds, give them a little bit of a bit of a frame around them, just a little bit of love. It's like they're singing. They've got little wings coming off them. I love some black pen marks and it doesn't matter what it it looks like or it represents, but for me, it just re represents, you know, it represents something different for everyone. And, and I do love the idea of, you know, that freedom a black pen can give me on a page. All right, a little bit of doodle there, a little bit of doodle there. Um, I can do some, what's called a semic writing, which doesn't really say anything. It's just like a loopy, loopy words just like I did on that side and I'm going to finish with a quote so yeah the quote will come from the Frida Kahlo quotes from Scrap Effects and this is great this is a two-page sheet all about or quotes from Frida of course but they are available here as part of the Scrap Effects special um, and they're gorgeous. So let's have a look and read some of these out loud. Uh, how am I going for time? Excellent. Not fragile like a flower, fragile like a bomb. Oh, that sounds like me. Uh, at the end of the day, we can endure much more than we think. At the end, uh, so that's in there twice, in black and in white. Turn pain into beauty. Nothing is absolute. Everything changes. Everything moves. Everything revolves. Everything flies and goes away. Oh, that one could work. Feet, what do I need it for when I have wings to fly? Well, that could one, that one work there. 
I've never painted dreams. I've painted my own reality. Yep, yeah, bang. I might use a couple. I might use a couple on this. So I'm just grabbing some straight edge scissors, not serrated. A um, couple of couple of other people, a couple of other people, a couple of people have asked me what's happening with the supply of Tim Holtz scissors. Uh, they have been on back order now for some many, many months. Uh, I think that they are having some production issues. I'm assuming they're having some pretty significant production issues because... I have not been able to get the seven inch or the nine inch scissors for quite some time. We did get a sh shipment in this week of the little Tim Holtz snips. Um, so they are in, but not, I haven't received the other ones yet. So um, I do have them on order. But they are still on the way. All right, and I need a third quote. Um, and this one will be fine uh, because I've got, the, the quotes that I've chosen here are in the black areas, right? So I need to make sure that I use, like I balance it out. I can't just have two black quotes because it would look silly. Um, so yeah, there's, there's, in regards to the, the Tim Holtz scissors, there are massive supply issues with those um, out of our control. Everybody else is in exactly the same boat. Um, there's no magic way of making that happen any differently. Um, and that goes for, of course, a lot of products at the moment. Um, so we are certainly doing our absolute utmost to keep you stocked up with all the things that you need. All right, so I'm gonna put that big fat one down there. That one there and that one in the middle and I'm just gonna stick those on with glue. And I am done and dusted. Alrighty girls, so thank you very much for watching. Um, I We'll be back here at 1.30, a couple of hours time. And of course, that's Adelaide time because, hey, guess what? I'm in Adelaide. Uh, but if you jump online to nataliemay.com.au, for today only, you will receive, whoops, you will receive 15% off of Scrap FX products, which is what I have been using here today. Um, you will also receive 15% off of chipboard, 15% off of Lindy's products, which I'll be using next. And there's some fantastic other specials available, like the tubes of acrylic paint here from Art by Marlene. They're down to $7.50 from $9.30. We have got some excellent storage ideas from uh, Totally Tiffany. I just popped some calendars, make your own calendars. Uh, I popped those in the show specials category. Uh, we and marked those down. We have got some excellent bundles as well. So there's plenty of things happening. Uh, there will also be your order will go in the draw to win a a prize, part of the lucky draw, and you can take advantage of the no judgment postage, which is. $1 postage for your second, third, fourth, seventh, twelfth order. Okay? So you do have to pay postage one time. All right, I'm just going to bring this up to camera just to show you some of these stampy details. Okay? Starting at the top and I'll scroll down. So you can see those stamped images there. And they are done with the Catherine Paula inks, of course, in... Same colours as on the background, so they are all in there. So using collage paper, using paint, using the patchwork birds from Scrap Effects, doing a really punchy, 
fantastic page that didn't take very long at all. But what's made it work is choosing the colors, having them all down here ready to go. All right, girls, so I will uh, trim these pages up. I will take some photographs, pop the products that I have used in the comments um, on the next post. And then I look forward to seeing you all back here at 1.30 for some playing with Lindy's Magicals. Um, that will be my next live Facebook. All right, girls, wash your hands, kiss your kids, go out and get some fresh air as well. Um, if the sun is out, get some vitamin D onto that skin. Just for 10 minutes is all you need. Recharge those batteries. Do it for me because I'm not going to see any sunlight today. Chat soon.